Well there we are back in my workshop uh, and we're going to have a look at this pump, this is that Lawara pump that failed um, and we, we suspect the bearings have gone and that's what's caused it to fail and gone red hot you can see the plastic where it's all melted uh, I've checked the motor terminals through and it's definitely gone I'm not going to bother repairing this but I'd just be interested to strip it down um, and, and see how it has failed I'm sure it is through the bearing this is the pump head and on the pump head you've got the direction of rotation as you can see which would be that way around um, and, and basically this is the same sort of thing uh, water comes in and water goes out it's just a pump in and out and it's spinning round um, and, and it sends water up to the towers um, this is the bottom part I suppose as you can look at it that way and the condenser pump is feeding the it, this goes to the condenser um, and basically the pump on the condenser pump then feeds the water system to cool the ammonia down the vapor and send it into an air pressure liquid um, so this is the feed to the condenser to put that water in the pump uh, in the sump so we'll strip this off um, strip this off have a look and I'll show you the inside of that um, I won't uh, undo all these bolts on the video so I'll stop it now and I'll uh, bring you back as soon as I've got this top off okay we've got the uh, front cover off which is the pump head which is there that's the inside of it look actually nothing wrong with this it's, uh, I might use that as a spare actually um, that's your pump head off next thing to do let's take this nut off here and that couples up to the shaft you see this thing spins round um, that spins round there that's the pump part of it this is the impeller um, so I'm going to take take this off and then I can separate the motor uh, from the pump head entirely so I'll do that next ok that's the impeller off this is the impeller here it sits on top of there like that screws on screws off that's your shaft seal this is part of your shaft that's just a spring for the impeller this is the shaft seal here so we'll take that off and uh, we're nearly there with this motor, we'll get the motor out and have a look at these bearings ok well here's the motor cover off now um, and you can clearly see there's the bearings completely shot they've well gone and that's what's caused this failure even the back cap look I don't know if you can see even the back cap, the sealed cap on the end of the bearings there look the see that ring completely gone there's where it's burnt out so definitely 100% what's happened these bearings have failed it could be water because it looks like there's a bit of rust on them yeah I think we've probably had some water in there it's dried the bearings out uh, there's no grease in it it's gone red hot this shaft here look the bearings right next to where the shaft is where the fan would sit and I think this has gone red hot because of the bearings the fans melted it's gone that hot then because it's running without a fan there's nothing to cool it down um, it's basically just completely destroyed it and uh, bent the motor completely out you can see the burning quite clearly on there there's a piece actually missing that would be in the motor yeah yeah there it is that's the other piece uh, that's what attaches to the windings so yeah that's uh, the mystery solved uh, it's a bearing failure how the bearings failed you know is open to interpretation looking at the shaft and I can see rust on it signs of rust and inside the bearing we can safely say um, the new motor I've put on will be absolutely fine providing the bearings holds up uh, the reason I wanted to strip this down and just find out was purely and simply because um, at the end of the day I didn't want to bang a new motor in to find you know whatever problems caused this happening again but providing them bearings hold up and there's no water going in um, we should be absolutely fine so I'm quite happy and satisfied to say the end bearings on this has failed causing the motor to burn out uh, so that's going for scrap this is all scrap the only good thing is the shaft seal uh, if you look at that not a mark on it, it's perfect not wrong with that shaft seal so 
what I'll do, I'll keep hold of that, I'll bag it up, mark out which motor it's for, uh, and I shall keep hold of that bearing, uh, sorry, the shaft seal, because 2 o'clock in the morning or whatever, that just might get somebody up and running. Um, I certainly won't get one at that time in the morning anyway. I don't carry them as spares because I just pick them up from the stock. Um, but if it's on a weekend or anything, that just could get us running with something. So I'll keep hold of that. I'd never charge a client for a new shaft seal. You know, don't get me wrong, I won't be putting it on and charging somebody. Uh, what I will do is charge the labour to fit it and it'll get them running and I'm sure they'll be quite happy at that. But uh, I won't fit anything that's useless. But in this case, that's the only salvageable part out of all the flaming motor. So the rest of it's scrap and uh, it solves the mystery of this low hour pump fail. Just that bearing. Make them so cheap nowadays, it's unbelievable. Yeah, for the sake of that flaming bearing, it's just destroyed 600 quids worth of motor. And it ain't worth messing about with the motor, it's not worth rewinding it for that price because it would cost a couple of hundred quid minimum to rewind needs a new fan, a uh, new set of bearings on it yeah you're going to be up to the price of a new one so I'd rather fit a new one so I'll scrap this and uh, at least know what the problem was alright cheers for watching, bye